Hey guys, welcome back to XTA. Today we're going to review an app that allows you to sort through all the applications that you have on your devices, contacts on your in your contact list, regardless of how many you have, and gives you access to them very quickly. Let's check it out. Okay, so the first thing we want to do is download and install the application directly on our device. Go into the Google Play Store, look for Dilemol, spelled out this way. You don't actually have to put the apostrophe in the name, it'll still locate it for you. There's two versions of it, the Lite and the Pro. Today we're reviewing the Lite version of the application, and if you go down further, you'll find the Pro, you'll be able to upgrade to that. Um, it is app supported, so just be aware of that part. Once you have that installed, you can either put an actual, put it on your home screen, or you can set it up as part of a shortcut with your launcher, depending on what you have. I have it set up on my home screen, but since the way this works, it works very quickly and it launches very easily, I decided to just launch it directly out of my device. So if I swipe up, it brings up the actual dialer. It looks like a phone dialer, which essentially is the beauty of it. Um, it works very quickly as far as launching, so you can either launch it this way or, again, if you have it on your home screen, it runs. The free version or the light version does have ads on the top part. It doesn't obtrude any of the information that you're actually going to be you know, looking up, but it does take up a top part of your screen. So the Note 3, it's not a problem. The screen is big enough that I can actually work with that. So the first app we're going to look for is, you know, let's go back actually real quick. And here's Amazon. That's how quickly it took me to get into Amazon. It's that, that quick. Um, I can again go up and I can say play. Let's go to the Google Play Store or actually music. Here's play. The whole time it actually looks at information that you have and when you leave the application and come back in, you notice it keeps the same information. So I'm not losing the last search that I did. You do have to persistently undo the last letters that you did. It doesn't have a press and hold and it deletes. Now, this isn't necessarily the main benefit of this, but let's go back in here. Well, okay, we're going to back to Amazon. We have the Amazon listing. Obviously, you see all the different Amazon applications. I can either launch it or by press and holding it, I have the option of uninstalling this application. Let's say you just want to get rid of an application. You just did it right out of your home screen. You don't even have to get into the app drawer. Next, the ability to customize the color and the theme of what you have in front of you is simple. You notice there's no menu option here, and if I try to hit back, I'll go home, but there's a little gear next to the one. So press and holding one takes you into the menu button. By default, the vibration is turned on. You can turn it off. And then you have the ability of selecting different themes. And I can literally type in anything, and it'll start finding things in my device. We'll go back once and here see like it found cloud magic it found my all the, the applications that i have it'll find even modules since they're installed in the app drawer as applications of course on the top you're getting your contacts your information as everything that's already in there and that's one of the main benefits of this it's the ability to quickly launch find applications on any device even if you have 20 applications or if you have such as over 100 applications um, on any device some people do have over 100 i don't have 100 but i have a lot that it requires me to actually have pages and pages and pages of applications on my device. So keep in mind, very nice, very useful. So from what you guys can see, the download of the application process is very simple. You can go to the XDA thread. I'll give you guys a link in the description below the video, or you can go directly into the Google Play Store and download the application. There's two versions of it. There's the free, the you know, ad supported version as usual. And then there's the pro version if you'd like to support the developer and get rid of the ads. The main thing you wanna keep in mind here is that the application itself works very quickly. The first time you launch it, it needs to build a database, obviously, to look up what you have. But other than that, as far as launching it, just pressing the actual app will launch it very quickly, and you can actually change the theme as I showed you guys with the hands-on. The next thing that you could do is, now, for me, having to find the application and launch it is not necessarily a very cumbersome process, but I have Nova installed on my device, and I have the ability of customizing gestures. So as opposed to where I used to have my swipe up to open up the actual app drawer, now I just have it launch this application. So helps me from actually saves me from having to put that application on my home screen so look at that check it out you guys saw a couple of times where i was able to swipe up and then actually just launch it um, it works very quickly the uh, one thing you want to keep in mind is that if you actually bring up a contact when you're looking up information and you click the contact it will call them by default so you want to make sure that that's what you're trying to do uh, if you're trying to open up the contact press and hold it'll open up the contact for you and you can see the information then select which number to call uh, press and holding on applications, again, gives you the ability of uninstalling a very nice, a very quick, intuitive process that was as it there. And it just overall works very well, very quickly. Um, I think we reviewed something similar to this a long, long time ago here on XDA, but the improvements that have been done on this application just basically just makes it unique and very, very valuable. 
Check it out, let me know what you guys think and leave a comment here below the video. As usual, like and subscribe to this channel, like and subscribe to my channel, and I will see you guys next Tuesday.